Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to talk about a few things that we've been seeing on the internet lately. Sh- strange things happen when we're going around. Hey, before we do, guys, before we launch, we're dropping some shorts tomorrow. The Kobe's, uh, the Kobe Crest short, got the Mellow Colorways, got the Hornets. Uh, don't miss out on these short numbers, short run stock, but yeah, let's get into it, Lukey. Yeah, how about yesterday? Rugby.com.au sort of taking the piss out with RTS moving across. They've done the photo, they've done the old NRL roast thing where they've put his face on. Is that Roasty doing that? I don't think Roasty's doing that. Rugby.com.au stuff, but hey, I might have to ask him. <laughs> uh, just out a bit of context for you guys. So there's a page called Rugby dot com dot au and they got like, I thought it was a meme page but they got two hundred thousand followers so it's obviously like their main no it's the official rugby Australia account so it's not like the Super Rugby account it's just rugby Australia oh so anyway what they've done they've got Roger Tuivasa stepping young Tonomapia everyone knows the size step it's iconic in in rugby league um, and they're throwing the NRL's head on top of young Tonomapia <laughs> so it's got it's got Roger like cranking him and then and in their caption they're at unlucky NRL <laughs> This is the dumbest piece of content that I've seen in a long, long time, and it sort of shows where probably rugby, um, Australian rugby is right now. Because the, the the irony of it is, is fucking Roger's not going there for the Wallabies. He's going to fucking New Zealand, and he'll be playing for the All Blacks, and he'll be cranking whoever's on the wing for the Wallabies. This, like, surely, sh- who, who, like, surely. Hey, we're talking about it. Hey, <laughs> we're talking uh, about. Is, it. is that what their strategy? I is? think it, it has to be. It has to be. Like, I was watching it, I was like, fuck, this doesn't make any sense. Like, unlucky NRL, we got one of your players. Who's going to be playing against us? And we haven't won in years. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. It's weird. Yeah, it's not like he's going to the Waratahs or anything <laughs> like that. He's probably playing at the Chiefs or somewhere over there, the Blues. Oh, Union, huh? Them Union boys, especially in Australia. Shout out All Blacks. You guys uh, are goats. Sh- um, Angus Crichton sporting the goatee of doom yesterday. How good was that? Yeah, side on. It looks fucking vicious, didn't it? Um, see, what a quaid right, Tony Carroll. The Tony Carroll of doom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Speaking of rugby, he's come from that sort of background as well. That's who they. That's who the Wallabies need. They need Angus Crichton. They need Cam Murray to come back. But in saying that, I wouldn't go back because you're giving up Origin. They're playing for two of the best clubs in Sydney. Um, they're they're going to play for Australia plenty, so who knows. But, yeah, Angus Crichton, great guy, uh, great back rower, plays for a really good team, really good guy. Um, I, he's a bit of a trendsetter. He's, mm. he's got the goatee. He's, I, I feel like he started that sort of mullet style haircut a couple of years ago. I think he's got a barber page where he cuts the boys up out east yeah. and, and posts them. So, yeah, right. yeah, great guy. Does a lot of things for the community. Um, happy he's in rugby Did you league. see the Batuta post about it? What did, what they, did they said say? that he's been working at JB Hi-Fi in the off-season. <laughs> that's, so, that's what they look like yeah, in JB Hi-Fi. exactly right. Black on black tattoos and goatees. Yeah. Um, next one, Lachlan Moranta, saving lives in the ocean. Yeah, Lachlan Moranta, great guy. I uh, met him through Normie. He's got a super dry sense of humour, like almost like too dry. Uh, but yeah, a bit of a hero. Got got wet, jumped in the water and saved the kids. So rugby league, man, we're, we're, we're breeding heroes. Hope, hopefully they pump that in the media. Obviously, as soon as someone gets in trouble, it's everywhere. But um, shout out to the boys. Jordan Ricky and that, they, they were saving lives out in... Mm, um, Citizens Goldie, Arrest. Citizens was. Arrest. Alex Glenn, he was there as well, I think. So... Yeah, rugby league, the home of heroes. <laughs> um, speaking of the go to doom, we had the spray of doom from Clay Thompson and Draymond Green over in the NBA like two days ago. How good was that? Would you want to see this in league or not? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's something to talk about. Like We're talking about it here. Why wouldn't we not talk about it in league? Yeah. If you haven't seen this already, Draymond Green, who's a Golden State Warrior, he's kind of like the tough guy over in – I don't know how tough he is, but he talks a lot of um, shit, and it's good to watch. Like You either love him or hate him, but you're paying attention to him, like exactly like this. Where, but he's gone out and pretty much sprayed uh, a member from the other team, and he's done it in part. I, I, I think it's great to watch. I think it's interesting. I think if you look at the dynamics of American sports, of the growth of UFC, they've got characters that aren't afraid to talk and we end up watching it whether you like it or you hate it we watch it it's the Floyd Mayweather Mm. business model or marketing model we had someone on the podcast I can't remember if it was yours maybe Scopes and they were talking about they'd done something with Eddie Hearn and Eddie Hearn had all these ideas for rugby league over in the um, I think it was one of Scopes early podcasts he was talking about how Eddie Hearn wanted to bring like that boxing aspect of like trash talking in like press conference style into like football mm. and saying like how much it would benefit the game if they were like talking smack a bit more. You do see it a little bit with Origin every now and then. Let's, let's just put it this way. Imagine a movie with no characters. There wasn't a good guy, a bad guy. Everyone was exactly the same. That's what that's what fans who hate players getting money want everyone to be like. They want oh, let them all dress the same when they walk in. Let them all oh, – 
he should be acting this way because he earns more money than me. Like, imagine, imagine a movie without any characters. Like, there was no Batman. There was no fucking bad guy. It would just be weird. I think you need characters within sports for it to grow. And in this age of social media, where marketing super important in this aspect, I don't know. Oh, who 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 would be the first guy to? Come That's out what of? I was just trying to think. <laughs> like, who's going to be the guy that um, Clay Thompson would spray? Who's Clay Thompson? I don't know. I just. I can't see anyone just coming out and spraying someone straight away. <laughs> it's good though. Imagine you- Fafita, like Andrew Fafita, like he'd, he'd be confident enough to back himself. Yeah, yeah. Just he's, pro- he's acting like he's going to be out of the league soon. I don't know. Who cares? Back to what did you say? Back to reserve grade soon, something like that. That'd be the trash <laughs> talk. Uh, uh, I think I think there's plenty of it that goes on the field, like at scrums and stuff. So could yeah. they mic the boys up, or would it be it a sort of sense nah, of what's happening? We're, we're too much haters in rugby league, like because everyone everyone wants to. I don't know. We're just too much hate. Twitter would be going off. All the fake fake accounts would be going off. It'd be lame. There's that old. I They'd ruin it. They'd ruin it. Remember that when they mic'd up Willie Mason that one game and he was just spraying everyone. That was good. That's good content when they do mic up the boys. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Last thing you've um, wanted to bring up: prepping the Panthers. And then, as I saw that question, I put in "Be the Player" by the Newcastle Knights as well. A bit of YouTube activity happening around the ground. Yeah, there's a lot of a couple of clubs that do uh, social media really, really well. Panthers is one of them. Knights are right up there. Melbourne are really good. Good day. I really enjoy Melbourne's content. I think it's just a way forward. We sort of talked about rugby union. Like they don't have the probably uh, first and foremost, they don't really have the personalities like the Matty Johns that sort of drive there. Um, that say they're like their head, and then say we're, we're like the second guys, us roasty bloke in the bar that aren't within the organisation, but we're still making content in and around the game. Um, and then you go to the clubs as well. They're making it about that. Rugby doesn't have that, but I feel like Panthers are doing it really, really well. I watch a couple of piece, a couple of episodes on the weekend. Uh, I'll be Carousel. <laughs> <laughs> like they're doing boxing, bro, and the boys are starting to go for the heads and stuff. And Uppy Curacao is just like clipping people, <laughs> like getting them flushed too. So, do you think that's it's like so? Those a lot. Of, I think a lot of people that are watching this on YouTube would probably be aware of the the YouTube accounts that are doing it. But I'll put it back to you. How did you come across it? Did you notice it through social media or nah, not? I was, I was at Corey's house and we were sort of watching um, random stuff, and it was just part of the must have been part of the algorithm. Mm. So. That's my point. So I think it needs to be the clubs, and I understand the clubs. A lot of the clubs during COVID have cut creators and cut, cut all the content staff behind them. So resource wise, it could be an issue. But um, just quickly looking at the Knights one, I think they just do a little story stripe up. There's nothing on their actual page that sort of driving traffic towards it on the YouTube as well. It's perfect IGTV content. Do you know too. what was weird with the NRL? So they used to have like NRL.com and then the social media, but they used to battle against each other. Like what the fuck? Mm. What the fuck are you doing? That's like, what I was going to bring up. Social media should drive you to your website, and like I don't know, who, I forgot who was telling us at the time. We uh, don't need to bring them up. I remember who it was, but in terms of like, I think it's just an opportunity to just like it's really good content. Like it's something that you would sit and watch on Fox League, and the quality of the production is up there as well. Oh, the other one is the Warriors boys, the CEOs out there with his GoPro. Remember Jackson yeah, sent that through. Yeah. So that that's iconic, good footage as well. So that's a Facebook page, I believe. I think, like, you know how we do the inside of YKTR? That will be, like, imagine if he was just sitting there going, oh, like, we couldn't bring over, this is what's happened. <laughs> imagine yeah. if it was full transparency. Roger's be been asking sick. me for months to go to rugby. Yeah. So we just let him go, yeah. So, All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll do more of this content soon. Comment down below for a reaction video. Cop some shorts, support the boys, subscribe. Later.